Even a man who's pure at heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Bam Bam coming round the band is Boogie Bam Bam. Is Boogie Bam Bam. Greetings, my fellow Fright Beans, and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm really happy that everyone has joined me here today for this special 80th anniversary tribute to George Wagner's 1941 classic, The Wolfman. Now, I have the movie as part of this legacy series. Uh, this contains seven movies, but I'm only going to be focusing on the original 1941 classic. My first exposure to The Wolfman, the original uh, classic film, uh, was going back to American Werewolf in London because there's several references to the movie in that film. Also, um, Friday the 13th, 13th the series, uh, one of my favorite television shows of all time, and growing up loving that show. In the second season, there was an episode called The Scarlet Cinema, and it deals with a character named Darius Poe who's obsessed with this film, and uh, he gets a hold of this cursed um, camera. Pretty much, if you kill three people in that episode, you can get your wish, and Darius Poe's wish was to become the wolf. Oh. I remember watching that episode, and that was just like sort of something that really just got me into the character um, and the film as in general. I'm really just excited to do this 80th anniversary trip tribute to the film, uh, talk about, you know, what the plot deals with, uh, but also go into some specifics about elements of the film and the cast. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So the Wolfman tells the story of Larry Talbot. Upon return to his father's castle in Wales, he is attacked by a wolf uh, during a confrontation and after the attack becomes a werewolf himself at the next full moon. The movie stars Claude Rains as Sir John Talbot. You have Ralph Bellamy as Colin Montfield. Um, Bella Lugosi as Bella the Gypsy, Maria Ospenskaya as Maliva, uh, Evelyn Ankers as Gwen, and Lon Chaney Jr. as Larry Talbot and the Wolfman. It was written by Kurt Siadmala and directed by George Wagner. And if anybody that can't guess already, the Wolfman is my favorite universal monster, always has been. Um, I don't know what it was. I grew up kind of being exposed to the Wolfman through, like I said, Friday the 13th, the series. But even younger than that, like in the Scooby-Doo cartoons and things like that, where there would be a werewolf creature. Uh, American Werewolf in London was really the first werewolf movie I saw. But uh, got into the classics as I got a little bit older. I was fascinated by the universal monsters. And the Wolfman, for some reason, was always my favorite, despite me being more of a fan of vampires than uh, werewolves in terms of those types of horror films. The Wolfman was always just such a tragic figure and I think that's just kind of how my MO with regards to uh, the horror icons that I'm uh, a big fan of, like Jason Voorhees is a very tragic uh, horror icon, horror monster, and so is the Wolfman. And I think that's kind of what drew me to him. As well as like Norman Bates from the Psycho franchise played by the late great Anthony Perkins, a very tragic figure, uh, but one that I really just was drawn to and I think it's just because um as a kid I was very sensitive I was very really hard on myself and I was and uh I had a hard time in school I had a hard time with my peers and I was picked on a lot so a lot of these characters that were kind of were bullied or picked on or whatever you want to call it I just those were the ones that I really was drawn to as I became the horror fan that I am now so a little trivia on the film. Uh, the film marks the first of five appearances by Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman for Universal Studios. Out of the Universal Classics canon of monsters, Chaney was the only actor to portray each character in each of the studio's classic films and sequels. Bela Lugosi actually campaigned for the lead role. Um, he was given the role of Bella the Gypsy in the film. Evelyn Ankers had difficulty working with Lon Chaney Jr. He nicknamed her Shank Shankers, uh, like a backstabber. Um, while playing juvenile pranks on her, which included sometimes sneaking up behind her in full makeup and scaring her. This had to do with the fact that she was given his dressing room as punishment for his vandalizing of studio property while drunk. Uh, Larry Talbot's silver wolfhead cane, the only known surviving prop from the movie, currently resides in the personal collection of genre film archivist Bob Burns. Burns, who was a schoolboy at the time, was given the wolf's head cane by the man who made it for the film, prop maker Ellis Berman. It has since been sold to a Maryland uh, collector. Lon Chaney Jr.'s makeup took six hours to apply and three hours to get off. Jack Pierce achieved the Wolfman's iconic makeup by pr primarily with a rubber nose and yak hair, which was 
singed with a curling iron and attached to Lon Chaney Jr.'s face, face, arms, and legs with spirit gum. The foggy floored forest where many of the film's key scenes take place was one of the largest indoor sets Universal had ever built, at the time occupying an entire soundstage on the studio's backlot. Shooting lasted from October 27th, 1941 until November 25th, 1941. Claude Rains portrays Lon Chaney Jr.'s father in the film, Lon Chaney's real father, Lon Chaney Sr., and Claude Rains both uh, portrayed The Phantom of the Opera, Lon Chaney Sr. in 1925, the original film, and Rains in the 1943 remake. During the final confrontation of the film, Evelyn Ankers was required to faint and then stay on the floor until the fight between Lon Chaney and Claude Rains was finished. She stayed on the floor so long and inhaling the chemicals that was used for the fog in the film that she actually passed out. When the take was over, the film crew began rearranging the cameras and lights for the next take, not noticing that Anchors had not emerged from the floor. Finally, someone on the crew realized that Anchors was missing. She was pulled from the fog and revived. So like, so I like I said, I said, really just identified with the Larry Talbot character. I love uh, the way that Lon Chaney Jr. played him. Um, I also really loved the relationship between uh, Gwen and Larry. It's actually very playful and sweet. You can tell that they like each other despite the fact that Gwen is already engaged to be married. Um, and despite their friction on set, much like uh, the friction between Meg Tilly and Anthony Perkins on uh, the set of Psycho 2, I really felt like their performances were great here, and, I could t and it seemed to me that they genuinely liked each other. I just love everything about this film. I love the makeup in it. Jack Pierce's amazing makeup has always stood out to me, and I just love the way the Wolfman looks. Um, I've always been more of like, I'm, I think I'm more terrified of a werewolf like in Werewolf, American Werewolf in London. Uh, but this is still for its time and just the way that it's done with the music and the lighting and the fog and the, way that the Wolfman's introduced. Course, it's the slow dissolve of him changing and it's just focusing on his feet and his legs as they get hairier and hairier and hairier. And then you see him walking, you know, walking, uh, in the, in the fog and by the cemetery. I just love the mood that it sets. And uh, I just uh, love the performance. The fact that Lon Chaney was actually the one in the makeup. I just think he did a terrific job of portraying Larry and the Wolfman. Uh, just a fantastic performance. And like I said, I really feel like the Wolfman is such a tragic figure because he becomes, you know, this creature through no fault of his own. He was doing something heroic when he is bitten. So, yeah, I just, uh, it's, it's a fantastic film. And for some reason, it was a comfort for me this year. Um, just during, you know, this pandemic and lockdown and everything, I started revisiting a lot of old films. I started re-watching Bela Lugosi's Dracula. I started really watching The Wolfman quite a bit. And uh, I don't know what it was. It's just like these old films, these comfort films, they really kind of helped relax me when I was during like during my times of stress and 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 anxiety um so yeah it's it's a fantastic film uh, i can't believe it came out 80 years ago it's pretty amazing uh pretty amazing that it's still as popular as it is uh, that the universal monsters are still looked at within such high regards as they should be um i love these characters um, I love these old movies, these old monster movies, and I would like to do more uh, retrospectives on some of the other ones that I'm really a big fan of, like The Invisible Man starring Claude Rains or Dracula uh, starring Bela Lugosi. But yeah, I'm anxious to watch like House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, uh, where the werewolf character comes back. And I think it's also really awesome that Lon Chaney Jr. was the only actor within the Universal uh, Monsters, uh, you know, cast, if you want to call it, uh, throughout the Universal Monster films that played the Wolfman consistently. He was the only actor to play him through all of the incarnations of him and uh yeah i'm just uh, really excited to check out some of these other classics so yeah just wanted to do something on the wolfman celebrating 80 years of this amazing iconic uh monster uh from the universal monsters uh thanks so much everyone for watching i hope everyone's doing well and i promise you there's some really cool stuff coming up very soon so take it easy stay scared as always Hey fellow Fright Fiends, just want to say thank you again for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you're brand new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I typically do this once or twice a week with new content. Uh, I've been doing this for over 11 years and the horror genre is a passion of mine. And it really means a lot to me that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support and I'll talk to you again later. Take it easy, stay scared as always.